So I tweeted yesterday in our video at the end of the day that Caterpillar had seen this big jump up. Let's go to the daily. And, um, and I had gotten out of half of my position on Thursday of last week. So this big jump up um, caught me by surprise a little bit. I still am looking for this Gartley target at 149.52. But yesterday's jump was big. It was based on the news that uh, trade negotiations were going better with China. But then this morning we had this massive drop. And I suggested uh, before the market opened in a tweet, don't overreact to this. Let's take a look at the analyst behind uh, this downgrade. And we can see that on the uh, one minute chart, we've got the stock starting to come back. So let's take a look at tip ranks. And let's look at Caterpillar and the breakdown of tip ranks. First thing I want to look for, of course, is the UBS analyst who put out the sell rating today. So he is a 0.9 star out of 5 in the overall rankings. He downgraded CAT to a sell rating 15 hours ago. Let's click on him and let's find out he is ranked pretty much near the bottom of all uh, analysts. His success rate is 43%. His average return over a year against no benchmark, he's, un he's down 2% if you followed everything that he traded. But based against the S&P 500, which has been up this year, let's see how well he's doing. I am having slight internet problems today. Things are going a little slow here. So he has 8% sell ratings, and that might only be one or two stocks. But let's take a look at what he has been um, saying about Caterpillar over time. He's called Caterpillar a buy for a long time. So when it hit this high up here of 163, did he say to sell then? Uh, no, he didn't. Um, it came all the way down to 114, and he was still, st still telling people to buy. So now he's put in a sell. Let's look at some of his other ratings. He's saying to, um, seven days ago, he said to buy deer. He's been successful 11 out of 16 times. So if you traded with him every time he made a buy or sell recommendation, you'd be about 69%. Sorry for the speed. But if you had traded with him um, every time he said to buy, you'd have been in the money five times out of 12. So I'm not ready to pull the plug based on this analyst.